Y'all do what y'all gotta do with this. After that, I'll be back. Thanks for tuning in to the iTip Report. My name is Ava Ani. Hope all is well with you. So this video I was supposed to put out last week. Didn't put it out. Didn't know where to like really start. So this is my video of how I was planning a tour. For a previous client and my mother was dying this is just a disclaimer um tour information as far as the name of the promotion or promoter as well as the client will not be revealed just as a business privacy and names if need be will be changed just to let you know but this is some of the life situations that artist managers never talk about. And I feel like if you plan on being an artist manager or if you know somebody or situations happen, this is what we deal with. So um, I hope you could sit back for a few minutes and hear my story. And um, yeah. My mother. My mother's name is Helen, but known to the family as Aunt Helen. Very family-oriented, strong black woman. Pretty much the best mother you could ever ask for. Um, she was raised in the South, North Carolina, so that's why when I say shout out to North Carolina, when my people's in North Carolina, it all comes back to my mother. Um, she's had pretty much the best of both worlds, living the Southern life when she was young and then living the city life as from, um, young all the way up until, uh, probably in about in her fifties. My mother is a older parent and I pretty much had that same kind of childhood, but reverse. I was born in Brooklyn, New York, and raised half of my childhood in Brooklyn and half of my childhood in uh, the Carolinas, North Carolina to be exact. So I have been blessed to experience both spectrums, you know, of life. So, um, it's 2013, which was four years ago. I am 36 years old. Um, I am at this time doing a lot that I am proud of doing for myself. I um, got more in depth with artist management. Here I was order, order. I was managing, it was just out of the blue kind of for me. I was managing a duo group that was phenomenal and it's still phenomenal and I was managing also a producer this is all in 2013 plus I decided that I wanted to also do other things I was good with event planning so I was doing a wedding uh, planning someone's wedding and and I was holding down a corporate job so I was doing a lot um, my mother's birthday is May 1st. May 1st used to be everything to me. I mean, it's still everything to me, but it's not the same when you lose a parent. So for 2013, um, I decided that I was going to go see my mom for like about a week in North Carolina because that's where she lived at. So... Um, I had just took on the producer 
as well. So now, you know, I'm trying to figure out with this producer, you know, what kind of tours, what kind of events, what kind of projects that I could try to find and come up with. So I went to see my mom because it was um, made aware to me that, you know, my mom is really dying. This time in my life, I am overwhelmed. <laughs> I am um, stressed at times, but not like overly stressed. It was like all different levels. Um, then I got an opportunity about booking a tour for the producer. And... It was really tough for me because at the same time I got the opportunity that I could possibly book this overseas tour. It was like probably like five cities. Actually, it started with four cities, but then it eventually ends up five cities. Um, I was thinking, I was trying to figure out how am I going to do all this by myself on my own because number one. This is my first tour. I need to lock down this tour. Like for me as an artist manager, um, and I can't speak for any other managers out there, my main focus when I take on a client is how can, how can, how should, everything. I give my very best to uh, get this client where they need to be. So, I'm in North Carolina about, you know, May, the week of my mom's birthday. I'm happy to be there, but also at the same time, I am sad. I am depressed. I am feeling some type of way because, number one, I am a private person when it comes to family and friends. And I'm not really like that open with expressing 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 excuse me my feelings and stuff so it was really tough for me now while i'm there of course i don't forget i bring my laptop i bring everything i need just in case i need to go back and forth with these promoters in the meanwhile i am hurting i am like, why does it have to happen to me? Questioning, talking to God, talking to myself. Just in general, I didn't really... And I have a lot of friends, but I didn't really um, turn to friends a lot. Because I feel like friends have... Um, they have their own thing that they're dealing with. So, I said, you know what? I need to figure out how... <laughs> Excuse me, because I'm emotional. Like, how am I going to deal with this? You know, how am I going to get this producer on, you know, with his own tour as well as function with um, my mother dying? This is my rock. My mother did everything for me, you know. Um, Take me to get my driver's license, you know, take me to buy my prom dress, take me away to, to college, to orientation, um, pick, pick me up, cook for me, all types of stuff. This is, ev this is the woman that's taught me everything pretty much about life. I'm like, how am I going to get through this? And so... I was sitting, I remember, I was sitting in the living room, and um, I have my laptop, I got my phone, and I questioned myself, like, yo, I really just want to stop um, doing management for just temporarily right now, because, you know, how am I going to function losing my mother, you know, maybe I need to take a step back. This is just too much for me. And then on top of that, I was planning, like I said, I was planning somebody's wedding. But this tour was my biggest, to, was my second biggest thing to planning somebody's wedding. It's just, 
and then I'll, ugh. Mm. So, I started, I decided, you know, I questioned myself. I said, look, you know, what would my mother um, want from me? You know, like, what would she expect me to do? You know, would she expect me to just sit and mope and be emotional and cry and not do anything? And I thought about it and I said, you know what? My mother always said, you're a good business person. You know how to deal with people. You're social. And you're good. So you need to handle your business. That's one thing my mother always said was, if you start something, finish it. And that's one thing that I always remember. And do it correctly. So, from thinking that just came into my mind, I was like, you know what, I'm going to, I started this, you know, I um, took on this client, it's, it, it won't be fair to that client, that producer, to, to lose out on a major opportunity, a financial opportunity, a tour opportunity, because I'm dealing with something, yes, it's very big, but... I got to I got to be focused and I got to really think about my client at the time. So that whole week I am I pretty much was an emotional hot mess. You know, I cried pretty much every day for like 7 days because I know eventually my mother wasn't going to be there. My mother I I couldn't pick up the phone and call my mother, you know? So I need to keep myself busy. So I started talking with the promoter and it was a good experience for the most part. And, the, you know, going back and forth, going back and forth with numbers. Now I'm just in a whole different uh, film now. I'm negotiating. I'm trying to get my artists um, the best tour deal possible. And I'm like, oh my goodness. So, I'm keeping a paper trail of everything and going back and forth, going back and forth. Boom. So, within that week, I locked down the, the deal for a, supposed to be actually a four city tour in Australia and New Zealand. So I'm pretty much a little happy about that because I'm like, you know what? My mother will be proud of me. I'm happy about that. And you know, I'm just gonna keep, you know, I'm just gonna keep following up and making sure because I don't feel like doing nothing right now. That's, that's just pretty much how I felt. So going back and forth, back and forth. And then the promoter, and I remind you guys, just to let you know, the promoter has no idea what I'm going through. We don't, like, I didn't really know that promoter like that. And, and this is business, so you're not going to be saying, look, you know, like, could you get it together? My mother is dying and I really don't want to do this. You can't say none of that. So the promoter really didn't have any idea. Um, so... Initially, we locked down, I was able to lock down by myself a four-city tour in New Zealand and Australia for my producer client. I was ecstatic, but I'm like, you know, it's always something in the back of your head, like, you know, please let this go through. And, you know, I asked for an itinerary from the promoter. I asked just to make sure my, um client at the time was good because the budget didn't allow for me to um be a, to accompany the client the producer to go on this tour and I wasn't upset about that you know because I I didn't want to be out of town if something happened to my mother so like out of the country point blank so then going back and forth with the promoter and everything 
And then the promoter, you know, pretty much said, uh, well, maybe we could drop it down to a certain amount, do this, do that. And I'm like, but I'm still negotiating and everything. And um, I just gave like uh, two options. One option, you know, if the promoter want to take this option for a certain amount of price or if they want to take that, op another option, which um, I think was good on my part. And it just worked out well. Instead of me getting just like two to four shows, I ended up getting five shows for this producer client. So all in all, I was happy with that. However... I still had to deal with the fact that my mother was dying. And now, within that week of negotiating, excuse me, <laughs> I can't even talk right now, with uh, going back and forth with the, the promoter, uh, the deal was locked in. You know, I was in a good place with that. And... I think it probably was locked in the last day, the second to the last day I was there with uh, my mom visiting her for her birthday and we celebrated her birthday. This time my mom is, at that time, 2013, my mom was 86 years old. I was grateful because I was like, I honestly said, you know what, I think this is going to, in my mind, this might be, this might be the last you know, birthday that I celebrate with my mom. So I was happy about that. But it was crazy because after I locked down the deal and I was like talking, try to, you know, a little talking to my mom. My mom talked a little bit and she was in bed. And, you know, I remember her saying, you know, yes, my daughter is a great businesswoman. And it just, that just stuck in my mind, like, how ironic. With dementia, what people don't know is that people tend to forget things. And they, they, they lose their motor skills. They lose their conscience. All just, all types of things. And it was amazing to me that my mom, like, that was some of the last words that she said to me. Like, yes, my, my mother is a good businesswoman. And I appreciate that because it's like, wow, even though when you have a dying parent, a sick parent, and they are in another town and you can't do but so much because you have to survive yourself. And to know that, you know, somehow with my mom's uh, dementia disease that she was able to notice that. And that statement got me through. So... It was tough for me. It was really tough for me. And this, at that time, you know, I was doing a lot. And to be managing an artist and, you know, <laughs> realizing that, you know, your mother is not going to be here any longer. It's a tough situation. And I really think that managers don't really talk about that. But I just wanted to share you guys my story. And um, it was really, really rough for me. But I'm just trying to think, like, now, how did I get through that? So, um, like I said, I went down there for my mom's birthday. And I was happy and grateful that I didn't put off a client's business stuff because I was personally, personally... Uh, just sad and depressed and all of that because my mother is dying. I'm happy that I stayed focused on that. And um, it was really, really tough. So by this time, I'm happy that my mother, uh, me and my sister was able to celebrate my mom's uh, 86th birthday. She's in good spirit. She's talking. She's laughing. It was just amazing to me. And then I left. I was there for a week. I left. 
Um, and then I was at work. I was at work on my corporate job. And I got a call from my sister saying, you know, my mother has transitioned. And pff, I was a mess. Total mess. But at the same time, I could say I was prepared. And it's so ironic because I had just got a connect to get uh, my producer clients as well as my uh, duo clients into a festival, to the Roots Picnic Festival. And I was definitely looking forward to going in just to chair up as well as make some business connects for both of those clients at the time. Um, and May 31st is when I got the call from my sister and I found out you know, my mom transitioned. I had to call my clients. And I didn't want to just text them and say, hey, I can't go to Philly or I can't meet you in Philly. So I had to call them and say, look, I can't go to Philly. <laughs> and I remember them, like these are separate occasions, the duo group as well as the producers. Why? Why you can't go? Or if you ain't going, I ain't going. Just crazy. I was like, look, my mom died. And it was in shock. And it was tough. So. <laughs> that was my life situation as an artist manager. Dealing with. Um, just dealing with a. Your business stuff as well as your personal stuff, your life stuff, your family stuff. And um, somehow, by the grace of God and good supporting friends, I was able to get through it. And um, I know my mother would be proud. And I was proud. The tour was a success. Uh, the producer did a five-city tour. It's something that I can put on my resume with a bunch of other stuff that I did. And just imagine that, you know, if I, like, focus so much on the sadness of losing a parent, it's not, it's not easy. So, trust me when I tell you guys that everybody always think that artist management is like this... Oh, it's, it's a dope. You get to meet artists and such and such. is not all what it seems. It does have its highs better than a lot of lows. But it's a lot of work. It's a lot of emotions going into it. You're dealing with a lot. And for me, being by myself with my own management company and, you know, trying to grind it out the best way I can, this is what I dealt with in 2013. Um, and this is what I wanted to tell you guys. So, I hope you could take this story and, you know, this is my story and just know that it's a lot of hard work with being a manager, but this is what I've had to go through and I wanted to share it with you guys. So, um, let me know if you know anybody that had any like major stories like this, you know, dealing with somebody and you working in the music business as an artist manager. But yeah, this is my story. Um, you're welcome to make your comments. Definitely subscribe if you're interested. And um, yeah, I'm, I'm glad to say that I am in a better place. Uh, now, currently right now, I am... Um, doing my own thing i don't have those clients anymore i wish everybody the best the, the clients that i used to uh manage and i've moved on to you know bigger things in my life so um talk to you on the next video peace